I don't see how nobody doesn't have any type of organization tools such as not even just a plan of like a calendar or to-do list anything because how are you just keeping all that stuff in your head Hey family, what's going on? It's your girl Tyson and awesome. welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about sexual wellness, fashion, lifestyle, career, and entrepreneurship advice. So if any of those things are interesting to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you become part of the family too. And for all my return viewers, hey family, what's going on? Thanks so much for coming back and clicking on another video from your girl. So we are back at it again, y'all, with another social work series. And today we are talking all about time management. Girl, 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 I got the nerd to be doing a video like this. But as we go on in life, we learn more things, okay? And your girl is getting back on track. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on this topic, be sure to keep listening and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so I don't know about y'all, but to me, it just seems like it's not enough hours in the day to get everything you need to get done. On top of incorporating self-care and all of that, which is a whole nother story for another day. But in order to just be able to tackle your day more productively, you got to get your time management under control. Now, me personally, when I find myself in like a burnout mode, which is like when you just are completely just careless when it comes to everything pertaining to work and stuff like that, and you just don't have the energy to put out, um... I have to just step back for a little bit and be like, okay, what can I do to help to reduce my stresses? Because I'm not able to give 100% of my job and I'm not showing up for myself either if I don't have that. So that's where the time management comes and you got to be able to have that separation of time when it comes to things in your life because time management is key. I'm telling y'all. If you get your time management down, you'll be able to get so much more stuff done. So in order to be able to, of course, have better time management, first off, you need a planner. Okay? I'm always going to be a huge advocate for planners. Y'all know I done showed my girl off 50 million times, but this thing is my life in one book. Okay? I'm going to show y'all just, for example, like April. This was how mine's looked or whatnot and just to make things more funner i like to put stickers sometimes i use like different color pens and stuff like that just to make it a little bit more exciting for me and stuff but when i start grad school or whatever this is going to be key for me because a lot of times i like to plan stuff out ahead like because i want to always make sure that i have time for it so like if somebody's like hey girl i got an event going on july 25th i'm like okay well let me look at my planner or my calendar and see what i got going on that day I don't see how nobody doesn't have any type of organization tools such as not even just a plan of like a calendar or to-do list anything because how are you just keeping all that stuff in your head? You got to be Jesus or something to be able to do that and even then I don't think Jesus would be just keep everything in his head like that and stay sane. So I'm visual. I got to see it on paper. So having a planner or some type of organizational tool is going to help you so so much because you're going to be able to see everything that you need to get done and you're going to be able to practice that time management because if you know ahead of time what something is due or when you got to do something you can tackle it before this so you don't wait to the last minute to and stress yourself out like a girl which goes to my next point don't create unnecessary stress for yourself if you know you have something coming up or you know that you got something that you got to do tackle it before it's due like as soon as you get an assignment or as soon as you got like a report or just anything however your life is anything that you know that you got to get done and maybe you got like a month before it's due don't wait until the last couple of days to do it <laughs> talk about myself don't wait until the last couple of days to do it because then you're gonna get stressed out you're gonna get anxious you're gonna get worried you're gonna and you're gonna not put out your best work because you're rushing now now I know some people they work better under procrastination which I mean kudos and heads off to you I used to be able to do that but now the way my life is set up I can't do that no more so in order to do that like I said just get it done earlier or whatnot thank me later because I'm telling you it's gonna pay off in the end the earlier you do it the better off you'll be this brings me to my next point when you know better do better if in the past you found yourself doing stuff in a way that made you more stressed out or you didn't wasn't able to get a lot of stuff done why would you continue to do that that is literally the definition of insanity which is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result 
if you knew you did it uh wrong the last time and it didn't work out for you why do you think it would do it this time and you did the same exact thing all right now so come on let's use our context clues let's do better when you know better you do better so when you know better use the tools use the new knowledge that you have to be able to make better decisions moving forward so you don't find yourself as stressed the next thing is learning to tell people no so i had a whole video about this if you guys are interested on how to get comfortable with saying no setting boundaries all of that good stuff but learning to say no is so important because when that time management thing comes into play say for instance you got a paper due and then you gotta also go to work and then maybe this weekend i don't know you gotta um a birthday party that you want to attend so somebody is gonna have to wait okay out of these three things this is a lot going on you need to make your money so you got to go to work you got to get your assignments done so guess what the birthday party you might have to skip on it or you might only be able to go for like an hour and then you have to leave early to maybe finish your paper for school and stuff so that's where that thing has to come in you got to be strong you got to be able to be assertive set them boundaries and be like yeah, girl, I can't do it today. Um, you know, I'll try to slide by for a little bit, tumble to the party, but I gotta leave because I got some other things I gotta do. And don't feel bad about it. Like, I know it's gonna suck or whatnot, but you're sacrificing for the greater good and for something better or whatever, or whatever it is that you gotta get done. You, you, you are saying no for a reason for it. Like, it's not just, you're saying no because you don't wanna go, but it's literally like you don't have the time for it. So you gotta, you know, put your priorities, um, over another one whichever one is more important to you at the time another great thing i feel like can help with time management is taking a social media break i am currently taking a social media break right now when i tell y'all it has been so relieving like i mean of course i'm still up here and i've been on tiktok which is something i'm starting to get a little bit more you know intrigued with so make sure y'all follow me down below or whatnot and i got it i think at the beginning of the video it's a uh, moscato m-o-s-s-c-a-t-o -S but you get so many ideas of the child you get up there be ready to spend everything be ready to cook everything be ready to buy everything i'm like i gotta get off this app but anyways back to what i was saying a social media break is so 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 needed i always was super scared to take one before because i'm like oh my god like what if people don't follow me and then, then i'm just like who gives a crap like girl take this social media break like it takes up so much of your time you'd be surprised this is certain section on the phone that you can see like weekly how much data that you're using or whatnot as far as with your screen time so mine's my daily average is eight hours and nine minutes now that's ridiculous and that's probably because of the fact that you know i've been on tiktok a lot or whatever but that is a long time to be on the phone or just i be on the phone a lot too but and it shows you and it breaks it down literally for all of the stuff so as you guys can see I'm trying to show y'all so yeah and then it just breaks it down by the day like how often you get on um for that day this eight hours that's ridiculous okay i could be doing so much more time i could be filming content i could be um uh, working on something with sweet urban escape making some new products i could be writing some ideas down i could be hanging with people in person so i'm just doing a lot more different stuff so when you're not on social media you don't have to focus on keeping up with the joneses comparing yourself possibly getting sad or depressed seeing something that might make you feel triggered because like you feel like somebody is more ahead in life than what you are currently so that's why i feel like doing that or whatnot taking a break every once in a while is so helpful y'all when i tell y'all like i don't miss it like i don't miss it at all and i was one of the people that was on instagram and facebook faithfully and i was so nervous about getting um taking a break but i do not miss it like i'm probably gonna do it for at least another week or two or whatnot it just feels like so good like people don't have that kind of access to you and they can't just be looking on your stuff like and if you don't want to completely get rid of it of course you can just deactivate it which you're just temporarily the your page is not going to show up when other people try to search in and stuff so i love that idea or whatever but i definitely think um if you want to manage your time better and kind of get a little bit things more accomplished and you feel like something is getting in the way and you're a big social media person definitely take a break like i promise you it's gonna always be there and you're gonna feel so much better all right y'all and that's pretty much it just wanted to keep this video short and simple sweet and to the point all of these tips you can use this out in the field you can use this in the classroom you can use this in your life y'all know my social work series is related to all things so take it 
for what it is and apply it to your situation. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you still subscribe to the family yet, what are you waiting on? Click on that red subscribe button down below before I leave it out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Oh, I almost forgot y'all gotta give y'all a question. What am I going to ask y'all today? I got a good one. If you had all the time that you wanted in a day to get one thing accomplished, what would it be? Now this could be anything like, maybe if you got children, you would wanna spend time with your children, your spouse, um, maybe you would wanna create a project or something of that sort. So if you could just spend however many hours or whatnot being able to get one thing done, what would it be? Comment that down below. Let's get a conversation started up in the comment section or whatnot and be sure to send me guys some topics and some other things that you guys want me to talk about in my social work series i got a whole lot of content coming up soon y'all so please make sure you're subscribing to my channel make sure that you're liking all of that good stuff i try to post two times a week or whatnot okay and yeah again i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you already know i will see you in my next video bye y'all I'm tired of the